Theseus. The cryokinetic extraterrestrial is primarily a zoning character who wields the power of ice. Once the opponent is frozen with fear by his dominating space control, Glacius can then crack open their guard with some chillingly deceptive mix-ups. Glacius has many excellent tools for controlling the screen. Hail is a bouncing projectile that can be held above Glacius' head until he releases the button. He can summon all three strengths of Hail at once, each covering a different angle on the screen, and release them independently while doing other actions. Hale also has applications for zoning, offense, and can sometimes even bail Glacius out of trouble. Coupled with this are his ice normals. Glacius' jumping kicks give him control over the sky from multiple angles and make approaches difficult. His longest range ground normal is Ice Lance, which is great for covering space and canceling into hail or other special moves on block, and starts a combo on hit. On top of this, Glacius has Cold Shoulder, a strong check move that takes up a lot of space and has good pushback on block, allowing for some sneaky whiff traps. Since Glacius is best played from a distance, he doesn't need to be up close to perform auto doubles and linkers, making all ranges dangerous. Glacius' main offensive threat is Shatter, an unblockable attack that starts combos. Glacius will throw these out when you decide to start blocking normals and hails, and even in cheeky mid-combo resets when you're just trying to mind your own business. Watch for this pillar of light and try to jump or use a projectile invincible move. This combination of tools gives Glacius access to great offense up close as well. Summon hail over a knockdown opponent and use liquid eyes to switch sides while releasing the hail. Or do jumping light kick for a nasty instant overhead sequence. Once you've been hit, don't lock out. Glacius has the fastest shadow linker in the game, making it easy to squeeze huge damage out of any situation. In Instinct, Glacius gains a regenerating hit of armor, which can enhance his zoning and make it extra challenging to anti-air him or punish him. But he also gets a new move, Homing Puddle Punch. This will track the opponent under the ground, even from full screen, and starts a combo on hit. And you can even make it cross up by holding forward. Cover your approach with a hail for even better results. You also get much improved mobility on Liquid Eyes, useful for getting to any range you want quickly and tricking people into thinking you're attacking. With very slow walk speed, a slow floaty jump, and truly terrible, awful dashes, Glacius has the poor mobility you would expect from a strong space control zoner. You'll need to rely on specials like Cold Shoulder to move forward quickly, but if Cold Shoulder whiffs, you'll be in trouble, and Glacius has no easy way to create space other than jumping backwards with an air ice attack. This poor mobility means if Glacius is not at a range where he feels comfortable, he will struggle to find a way to get there. With Backdash being so slow that it's almost unusable on defense, Glacius must rely on Puddle Punch and Invincible Uppercut Attack. While it is very high damage, it is both slow, which means it's easy to safe jump, and weak above his head, which means jumping will bait it. If you block this move, don't let Glacius cancel into Shadow Hail as an attempt to be safe. This can be punished reliably. Players will be jumping at Glacius a lot, especially because the main way to avoid Shatter is to jump so Glacius will always have to be ready with the right anti-air for that situation. His tall hitbox makes him a very big target for air approaches, while also forcing him to deal with attacks other characters can crouch under. So to round that all up, Glacius is recommended if you love to frustrate people at full screen, you enjoy having a really pesky mid-range move, or you like finding trap-based setups in training mode. And you should avoid Glacius if you want grounded mobility, you hate having a large hitbox, and up-close brawling is all you know how to do. Overall, Glacius is recommended for players who love to chip away at the opponent's patience by making them trudge through a hellish winter of traps and obstacles. You can learn more about Glacius and Killer Instinct at ki.infill.net. A big thank you to Infill and Lemon for writing the script to this video, as well as Mecha Mech and Son Goki for helping me to record it. And of course, a massive shout out to the one and only Sejam for narrating. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, you, 
Without your donations, these videos would simply not be possible. For just $1 a month, you can gain access to exclusive, beautifully put together PDFs of our guides. This time, shout outs to Leafy Greens, Brandon Belenzuela, and Russell Clare. Stay tuned for more Killer Instinct. Up next is Thunder.